Ranjana came to me now and she said, Give me something. I'm feeling so very uncomfortable. I'm feeling so very depressed. And I asked her, You had gone to Masuri for New Year, right? She said, Oh, that was very lovely. I thoroughly enjoyed my New Year. I went to my grandmother's place. She had made a beautiful plum cake. And every day she would make some pies, she would make some soup and we would simply love going out, playing in the snow, coming back and having a hot savoury meal. I asked her then what happened? She said I came back two days back and since then I'm feeling so very low. I asked her what did you eat yesterday? That in the morning, I just didn't want to get up. I was feeling so very lazy in bed. So I simply skipped my breakfast. And then I ordered a burger with some fries and Coke. Again in the night, I was feeling so low and I just had a glass of milk. And I smiled at her. I said, most of the people are going through the same phase in our country. Around 40% of people in India are suffering from depression. And the most important thing that we all need to understand is it is within our reach. We can bring a lot of change with just five different steps. First thing, the moment you start getting any depressing thoughts, the moment you start feeling and realizing that I am feeling low, Change your posture. If you are lying, get up. If you are sitting or standing, just start walking. Changing posture immediately shifts the angle, the way our mind thinks. Immediately the focus changes and there is a surge in the energy levels. Get out of bed, have a warm shower, and you will start seeing the difference. But taking the right move is the most important thing. Next, make sure that you eat something. Do not miss any meal. Let's say for breakfast, if you do not wish to make anything, have a handful of nuts. Nuts are full of omega-3 fatty acids, which are very important for our body. These fatty acids are actually required by our body to do a lot of things. In, in fact, 30% of our diet should have these omega-3 fatty acids in our diet. And in fact, desi ghee is one rich source of this. So please include desi ghee in your diet. Don't think you are fat, thin, whatever. There are certain nutrients which require fats for processing and that is why it is important for desi ghee to be there in our system. Now there is a lot of difference between refined oils and desi ghee. So you cannot substitute refined oils with desi ghee. Now when an oil is refined, what actually is done? A lot of chemicals are put to purify them, to clean them. And in this process, a lot of toxic smell is created. And then bleaching is done to remove those odors from the oil. And that is why in this whole process of refining, the refined oils become very toxic in nature and are not required by our body. So remain away from these things. Remain away from processed foods. A burger and a pizza or a coke would actually spike up your sugar levels initially. But in the long run, they actually bring the mood down. So what did she do in the morning? She missed her breakfast. So the sugar levels went down. And when she had a burger with coke, the sugar levels went up. So she started feeling good. But the best, best way would be don't skip your meal. Have some fruit. If you're not wanting to cook anything, 
have a salad but eat something healthy now the third most important thing is stay away from toxic people when i say toxic i actually mean toxic social media invariably all of us are glued to our phones and keep watching some or the other comments in the groups and invariably these are toxic in nature you can listen to some good music you can meditate you can go for a walk but leave your phone away from you at least 2 hours in a day so spend your time in a more judicial way chat with a friend whom you know is good enough and will motivate you stop big biting with people next whenever it is your sleep time make sure that you keep your gadgets away whether it is tv whether it's mobile whether it's laptop keep these things away from you and as you keep them away your mind can relax and the fifth most important thing you need to remember is good sleep go to sleep at fixed time make sure you sleep on time and you get up at the same time the next day now when you sleep your mind relaxes and you process the all the information that you have gathered through the day in a very positive way and next day morning you are all fresh to handle the day situations so just follow these five steps and see a difference coming into your life and make sure you do them every day make them this a habit of yours and don't think that once a week is good enough follow these steps and bring a difference to your own self